When Gambino crime family captain Michael Mikey Scar Di Leonardo became a government witness, his testimonies and the information that he provided put more mobsters behind bars than famous mafia informant Sammy the Bull Gravano. Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at how Gambino crime family captain Mikey Scars Di Leonardo was a more effective government witness than Sammy the Bull Gravano. This video is not a judgement on the actions of anyone mentioned. It is purely a historical account of what transpired. After Gambino captain Michael De Leonardo was arrested on June 20, 2002 on various racketeering charges which included murder and extortion, he would eventually agree to become a government witness towards the end of that year. After nearly a decade of cooperation, he was due to be sentenced for his crimes on September 9, 2011. Let's review the government's official memorandum for Mikey Scar's sentencing, which included all of the trials that either Di Leonardo's information or testimonies were used in, and the mobsters that were sentenced as a result. The legal document starts as follows. Preliminary Statement Michael Di Leonardo's cooperation over the past nine years has been nothing short of historic. Because of Di Leonardo's cooperation, over 80 Mafia leaders, members and associates have been held accountable for their crimes. As discussed in more detail below, Di Leonardo's cooperation has led to the indictment and conviction of mobsters of every rank. Over two dozen Mafia leaders, bosses, acting bosses, administration members, conciliary and captains, and many more soldiers and associates. Because of Di Leonardo's cooperation, various defendants have been convicted of committing or conspiring to commit at least 13 different murders as well as other crimes including extortion, assault, kidnapping, jury tampering, securities fraud, loan sharking, tax offences and gambling. The defendants charged as a result of Di Leonardo's cooperation have repaid their victims and forfeited to the government over $30 million in criminal proceeds. Di Leonardo has testified at 14 different trials, which is believed to have been more than any other cooperating witness in the history of organised crime prosecutions. Now, let's identify the criminals that were convicted as a result of Mikey Scars' cooperation. United States versus Peter Gotti and others. In December 2004, Michael Di Leonardo testified at the trial of Gambino family boss Peter Gotti and Gambino soldier Thomas Carbonaro. Mikey Scars testified about Peter Gotti and Carbonaro's conspiracy to murder Salvatore Sammy the Bull Gravano. He also provided testimony on Carbonaro's involvement in the 1998 murder of Frank Heidel and Carbonaro's conspiracy to murder Edward Garofalo. The government document states, The jury convicted both defendants of racketeering, the Gravano murder conspiracy, and the construction industry extortion, and Carbonaro was convicted of the conspiracy to murder Heidel. Carbonaro was also convicted of conspiracy to murder Edward Garofalo, a Gambino family associate who was suspected of cooperating with the government. Gotti was sentenced to 25 years imprisonment, and Carbonaro was sentenced to 70 years imprisonment. At the same trial, Mikey Scars also provided information against several other defendants, including Gambino associate John Matera, who was connected with the Frank Heidel murder. Matera would receive 20 years after pleading guilty to racketeering and murder conspiracy. Gambino family soldier Edward Garofalo, cousin of the previously mentioned Edward Garofalo, was also convicted. Garofalo pled guilty on the following charges, as stated in the memo. Conspiracy to murder Edward Garofalo, Garofalo's own cousin. Conspiracy to murder Gravano. And conspiracy to extort millions of dollars from the construction industry. 
Ruffalo was sentenced to 360 months imprisonment. De Leonardo's information at this trial also resulted in the conviction of Gambino family captain Louis Villario, who received 156 months for conspiracy to murder Fred Weiss and other crimes. Also convicted on various racketeering charges was Gambino soldier Frank Fapiano. United States versus Richard Martino and others. Michael De Leonardo also provided information for the government's prosecution of Gambino family mobsters and their involvement in a massive credit card telephone fraud scheme. Victims of this crime had their credit card numbers obtained by the mobsters, who then arranged to place fraudulent charges on monthly bills. The government estimated that tens of millions of dollars were netted by the criminals from thousands of victims. Salvatore Lucasio, a Gambino captain, received a 30-month sentence. Andrew Campos, a Gambino captain, was sentenced to 21 months. Richard Martino, a Gambino soldier, was sentenced to 108 months. And Zef Mustafa, a Gambino associate, was sentenced to 48 months. United States vs John A. Gotti and others. In 2005 and 2006, Mikey Scars testified in three trials involving John A. Gotti, the son of former boss John Gotti. In the first trial, the defendants were Michael Iannotti, a Gambino soldier, along with Louis Mariani, an associate, as well as former acting boss Junior Gotti. The government's memorandum states, The jury convicted Iannotti of racketeering conspiracy which resulted in a sentence of 20 years imprisonment. Judge Scheindlin specifically found at sentencing that Yanotti had shot Curtis Sliwa during a 1992 attack, as Di Leonardo had testified. The jury convicted Mariani of racketeering and securities fraud, which resulted in a sentence of 78 months imprisonment. The jury acquitted Gotti of securities fraud and hung with respect of all other counts against him. In the following two trials against John A. Gotti in 2006, Mikey Scars testified about Gotti's involvement in the assault on Curtis Sliwa, construction industry extortion and loan sharking. The juries were hung in both trials. Di Leonardo also provided information against Gambino soldier Joseph D'Angelo with regards to various crimes including the Edward Garuffalo murder and the attack on Curtis Lewa. Joseph Little Joey D'Angelo was also a cooperating witness for the government and had testified in other trials. United States vs Salvatore Scala and others. In 2007, Mikey Scars testified at the trial of Gambino captain Salvatore Scala and Gambino soldier Thomas Sassano. Scala and Sassano were charged with extorting a Manhattan strip club. Sal Scala was sentenced to 72 months and Thomas Sassano received 63 months. United States vs Alphonse Persico and others In 2006 and 2007, Mikey Scars testified against Colombo family acting boss Alphonse Little Alley Boy Persico and high-ranking Colombo mobster John Jackie de Ross. Persico and de Ross were being charged with their involvement in the 2001 attempted murder of Colombo soldier Joseph Campanella, as well as the 1999 disappearance of Colombo family acting underboss William Wild Bill Cutolo. At the first trial, the jury was hung, but at the second trial, Ali Boy Persico and Jackie de Ross were acquitted of the attempted murder of Joseph Campanella. However, the pair were found guilty of murder in aid of racketeering with regards to the killing of William Cutolo. Both Persico and de Ross received life imprisonment in 2009. United States vs Dominic Cirillo and others. De Leonardo also provided information for a later trial involving powerful Genovese mobster Dominic Quiet Dom Cirillo. Cirillo pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and received a 46-month sentence. United States 
versus Arnold Quateri and others. In May 2006, Mikey's cars testified at the racketeering and extortion trial of Gambino captain Greg De Palma. De Palma was sentenced to 151 months. De Leonardo also provided information on crimes committed by Gambino family acting boss Arnold Squiteri. Squiteri pled guilty to his various racketeering charges and was sentenced to 92 months imprisonment. In addition, Mikey Scars provided information that led to the convictions of six further Gambino mobsters and associates on charges ranging from racketeering to illegal gambling. They were as follows. Gambino captain Anthony Miguel received a 135-month sentence for racketeering and extortion. Gambino soldier Alphonse Siska was sentenced to 75 months for racketeering and extortion. Nicholas La Sorsa, another Gambino soldier, received a 46-month sentence, again for racketeering and extortion. Gambino family captain Thomas Cacciopoli pled guilty to extortion and was sentenced to 24 months in prison. Gambino soldier and acting captain Louis Filippelli received 46 months for racketeering and multiple extortions. And Leonard Minuto Jr., a Gambino associate, was sentenced to 27 months after pleading guilty to extortion and gambling offences. United States vs Dominic Pizzonia and others. In 2007, Michael Di Leonardo testified at the trial of Gambino family captain Dominic Pizzonia and Gambino family soldier Alfred Di Congilio. The government's memorandum stated, Di Leonardo testified about the defendant's membership and rank in the Gambino family. Di Leonardo also testified about Pizzonia's involvement in the 1992 murders of Rosemary and Thomas Uver, a husband and wife team that was holding up mafia social clubs around New York City, and Pizzonia and Di Congilio's joint participation in loan sharking. Di Congilio was acquitted. Pizzonia was acquitted of loan sharking, but convicted of racketeering conspiracy, including predicate acts of the conspiracy to murder the Uvers and illegal gambling. Dominic Pizzonia was sentenced to 15 years imprisonment. United States versus Larry Bronson. Mikey Scars provided information to the government about corrupt attorney Larry Bronson. Bronson was sentenced to 16 months imprisonment in 2008. United States vs John Gamarano and others. For the trial of Gambino soldiers John Gamarano and William Scotto in 2007, Michael Di Leonardo provided the government with information about their wide-ranging securities fraud activities and construction extortion. John Gamarano pled guilty and was sentenced to 52 months imprisonment. William Scotto also pled guilty to racketeering and extortion conspiracy and received 33 months. That's it for part one. Look out for part two where I will cover the remaining 44 mobsters who Michael DiLeonardo either testified against or provided information to the government resulting in their convictions. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.